Calamity Peak, a quaint mountain town, was known for its breathtaking views and peaceful ambiance. But as Halloween approached, an unsettling atmosphere took hold. The town's centerpiece, a grand clock tower, known as the Guardian of Time, stood tall and proud. However, legend said that every Halloween as the clock struck midnight, time would stand still, and the townspeople would experience events from their past, present, and future, some delightful and some utterly terrifying. Emma, a journalist with a penchant for the supernatural, arrived in Calamity Peak a week before Halloween. She'd heard about the Mysterio's clock tower and was determined to unravel its secrets. On her first evening while dining at a local inn, she overheard whispered conversations from the neighboring tables. Every year, it's the same. The clock ensnares us in its web of time, murmured an old man, his face etched with worry. A young mother hushed her child. Remember, darling, stay indoors when the clock chimes on Halloween night. Emma's curiosity grew. The next day, she visited the town's library to dig into the history of the clock tower. Records showed that the tower was built by a watchmaker named Alistair, whose love, Elara, vanished on Halloween night. Heartbroken, Alistair crafted the clock to manipulate time, hoping to either prevent her disappearance or reunite with her. But in doing so, he inadvertently cursed Calamity Peak. With Halloween night quickly approaching, Emma decided to stay and witness the clock's powers firsthand. Little did she know she was about to be ensnared in a tale of love, loss, and the relentless march of time. The days leading up to Halloween were filled with anticipation and a mix of fear. Emma, not one to be deterred, decided to interview townsfolk to gather more first-hand accounts of the clock's effects. At a coffee shop, she met Clara, an elderly woman with a clear memory of a Halloween night decades ago. When the clock struck, I was a young girl again, dancing with my first love at the town fair. It was beautiful but heartbreaking, knowing it was merely a fleeting moment in time, Clara shared with tearful eyes. Emma's next encounter was with Tom, a middle-aged man. He recounted a more foreboding experience. I relived a future event where the town was submerged in water. It was a flood I had never seen, and it was terrifying. With each story, it became clear that the clock didn't discriminate between joy and terror. Determined to understand the source of the curse, Emma decided to climb the clock tower on the eve of Halloween. Inside, the ticking was deafening, every cog and gear moving in eerie harmony. As she ascended, she stumbled upon a workshop where she found old drawings, tools, and a diary belonging to Alistair. Flipping through the pages, Emma read Alistair's desperate attempts to perfect the clock. One entry read, Elara, my love, with every tick, I feel you slipping away. This clock, my masterpiece, will either bring us together or doom this town to endless cycles of past and future. Time will tell. Suddenly, a gust of wind blew the pages to an entry dated October 31st. Tonight, I'll set the clock to take me to the moment before Ilara disappeared. If I can't bring her back, I'll join her in that lost moment. Emma felt a chill run down her spine. The weight of Alistair's love and anguish was palpable. As the night deepened, the clock's ticking grew louder, echoing the heartbeats of every soul in Calamity Peak. The town grew quiet as Halloween night approached. Windows were shuttered, children kept indoors, and an eerie silence enveloped Calamity Peak. Emma, armed with her newfound knowledge and a lantern, made her way back to the clock tower. As she stepped inside, she felt the tower's immense energy, pulsating with anticipation. Drawing closer to midnight, the ticking became a rhythmic heartbeat, synchronizing with Emma's own heart. As the clock hands moved closer to the twelfth hour, she began to feel weightless, the boundaries of time blurring around her. Suddenly, the world transformed. Emma found herself in a bustling town square from a century ago. Gas lamps lit the streets, and horse-drawn carriages moved to and fro. In the midst of it all, she spotted a young Alistair, his eyes searching the crowd. Following his gaze, she saw a radiant young woman, Ilara. As the clock began its twelve chimes, Ilara, caught in a dance with the townsfolk, was separated from Alistair. 
Each chime took her further away. Emma realized this was the moment of Elara's disappearance. With the knowledge she had, Emma approached Alistair. Your love for Elara is powerful, but you must let go. The clock's curse can't hold the town forever. Free yourself, free Elara, and free Calamity Peak. Alistair, tears in his eyes, whispered, But I can't lose her again. Emma, with a gentle urgency, replied, You never did. Love transcends time. With the final chime, Alistair took a deep breath and turned the clock's hands backward. Time rippled and the scene started to fade. Emma awoke at the base of the clock tower. The curse had lifted. The town was no longer bound by the haunting echoes of its past and fearful glimpses into its future. As dawn broke, Calamity Peak was alive with joy and relief. Emma had not only witnessed the power of the cursed clock, but had also played a role in breaking its spell. And as for Alistair and Alara, their spirits were seen dancing together in the town square, two lovers reunited before vanishing into the morning mist. As the hands of time weave tales of mystery and love, we find ourselves captivated by the stories that reside within the shadows of Calamity Peak. Thank you for journeying with us through the haunting echoes of the Halloween Cursed Clock Tower. If you enjoyed this tale and wish to hear more legends from the darkest corners of our world, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. And before the next chime strikes, remember, every tick tells a tale. Farewell until our next eerie encounter.